Milton, you're doing too much. Milton, here you go, boy. Sit. 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 Tootie. Tootie. Oh, Milton, sit. Sit. Good boy. Good morning, guys. I am out and about. I've had a busy morning this morning, so I have recoated my screens in emulsion. They are drying beautifully. I've edited and posted yesterday's Vlogmas. Right now I'm on my way to the hotel to look at their meeting space for Keto Palooza. It's pretty nuts. Oh, then just a busy day ahead. Okay guys, this is my iPhone and it's messing up, okay? I really think that ever since the iPhone 11s came out, they are like throttling and messing up the older phones, okay? You know they do that, right? Like you know that when new versions of the phones come out, they give updates to the older versions and they make them inferior so that you are motivated to update your phone, okay? I, I went to go see the space and I was just like, okay, this could work. It's really cute. I like where it's located. Um, you know, I'm still looking at other options and things like that, but it was it was kind of cool to like actually do take some actions toward making it happen. So that's pretty neat. And the woman that works at the hotel, like the, the sales lady, she actually does keto and she did it for a while. You know how people do, look, if you can do keto to lose a bunch of weight and then you can go to another diet and not gain all that weight back, more power to you, okay? So she said she did keto a while ago, lost 80 pounds. I don't know how she eats now, but I'm just like, if I don't eat keto, I gain weight. So, you know, but she knows all about keto and she was like, yeah, we can make, you know, any of the, the hotel food options, you know, we can make them keto. And I know, you know, I'll know the dietary restrictions and what you guys need. So I was really pleased with that. I'm gonna talk to my mom and Amber about it a little bit more. Uh, and then we'll go from there. On the way home, I got a phone call from my business partner, Courtney. She told me that my, my former roommate, Kiana, has died. And we knew it was coming, so, you know, and you know we knew what was happening but it's still kind of sad i just wanted to share that with you guys thank you for all of your thoughts and prayers and well wishes and things like that so you know we, we it was an inevitability but it still still kind of sucks um and but i'm just happy she's just you know resting now i'm happy it's over because she was just, you know, suffering for a while, so I'm just, and you know, her her sister was taking care of her and her family, I'm just, I'm glad that, that they'll be able to get some closure and that she'll be able to, you know, you know, move on, but yeah, it's really, it's, it's tough, and it's just crazy to think about because this time last year, Kiana lived with me, like we still live together, like today, I'm gonna go decorate for the Christmas party, like, and last year she came to the Christmas party, you know, and it's just, it's just crazy, it's crazy how quickly things change, and like, I've been going through this a lot lately, like, um, just telling people to like, get over themselves, like, nothing matters, like, if, if you love someone and you're having an argument or something, like, just get over it. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, if it, especially with your family, like, there are people in my family that haven't spoken to each other in years, and I'm just like, I'm over it. Like, I could, yeah, I could stay sad and, and spiteful and angry, but it's not worth it. Like, it's not worth it at all. So if there's any place in your heart that wants to get back to normal just just forget it like put your pride aside put everything aside and just because like life is too short so i am yeah love is the only thing that matters i mean it really is like there's just there's just no time to waste being mad over petty stuff like there's really not richard's wife lives in austria she's a scientist 
like she's a real life like Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory like she does like research uh, and so she is like a graduate you know researcher professional researcher and she does her stuff in Europe so Richard's gonna live in Europe and they're just gonna have a little American European baby and they're gonna come back here when they can uh, yeah and I mean I gotta tell a lot of people I gotta tell my friends and because you know Kiana lived with me so whenever my friends came over uh, you know, I mean, we, we were just all friends together, so a lot of my friends didn't even know she was sick. Oh, I gotta, ooh, bye Vlogmas, ooh. Okay guys, back in Screen Printing University, we have our screen. It's covered in emulsion and it's all dried now. Okay, the next step is to burn your image onto the screen. Okay, I have my image that I've printed on transparency paper. Oh, there you go. You place your image onto the screen. Put a piece of glass over it to weigh it down. And then what you do is you take a bright light and you turn it on. Before I turn it on, I have to get my stopwatch. I'm gonna put my timer on for nine minutes. And you turn your light on and you expose your screen to the light. I'll start my timer. So I'm gonna keep it here for nine minutes and then we'll come back and wash it out. Hey guys, I've been making shirts for like hours and hours now. I'm kind of bummed because the white sweatshirts aren't turning out the way I want cause like the ink is doing something kind of funny uh, and I've messed up a couple. Good thing that they're just mine, but like I just, I feel like I'm getting sloppy and I need to stop for the night or I'll mess up like, all the other ones and those sweatshirts aren't cheap so i'm not going to be able to get out the sweatshirts with white ink tonight and that just oh, hurts me so bad because i'm done with everything else and now i gotta package them but i won't be able to get those in the mail i'll try to get them in the mail tomorrow hopefully they still get there before christmas like i'm just kind of bummed but I'm gonna finish the shirts and then like, you know, I'm so late to helping my family decorate. Like I just, you know, I kind of feel behind and overwhelmed. So I'm just gonna step back for a couple minutes and uh, you know, just keep plugging along and whatever happens, happens.